Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, Excel Book. In this video, we are going to talk about MS Excel function, Accrued Interest. This function calculates the accrued interest for fixed income instrument bonds, where accrued interest is amount of interest earned on a bond that has been accumulated but not yet paid since last coupon date or issue date of bond. Calculation of accrued interest function in MS Excel speed up the process of calculation which otherwise can be tedious and time consuming process. Below is the syntax of the function accrued interest issue comma first interest comma settlement comma rate comma par which is notional amount of the instrument frequency basis calculation method. In our today's example, we have bond details in cell range C4 to D10. In cell D13, we will calculate accrued interest using the function. In the first syntax, we will link cell D4, which is issue date. In second syntax, we will link first interest date. In third, settlement date. In fourth, we will link rate. In fifth, we will link notional value. In 6th, Frequency. In 7th, we will link basis. And for 8th syntax, calc method, we will insert true if we want accrued interest from issue date to settlement date and false if we want accrued interest from first interest date to settlement date. Here, if we enter true, we will get accrued interest of 10.42%. We will copy the same formula in below cell and change the last syntax option from true to false. We will get value of 2.42%. Now you might think how to reconcile these values to see if the same has been calculated correctly. We will do a manual calculation to calculate accrued interest. Below is the actual formula to calculate accrued interest that we are now going to use in MS Excel. Now in Excel sheet cell range G5 to H21, we will insert dates manually. We will insert start date in cell G5, which is issue date and calculate end date, which is settlement date at the end of the month. Similarly, we will insert start date as the first date of the month and end date as the last date of the month manually. Since we are considering the 3360 day convention, we are not exceeding 30 days from any month. For cell H21, we will hard code the date of settlement, which is 4th June 2020. In cell range I5 to I21, we will calculate number of days. In cell D16, we will replicate calculation method true scenario. We start taking the count of the days from the issue date to settlement date. We will multiply notional value, which is 1, in cell D8 which is multiplied by coupon rate which is 8% in cell D7 multiplied by open bracket of total number of days which in our case is 469 divided by 360. We will get value of 10.42% which is same as the value that we have retrieved using function. Similarly in cell D17 for calculation method false Calculation start from the interest date, considering this date as previous coupon interest date to settlement date. In cell range J17 to J21, we will calculate the same. The total number of days is 109, which we will use in the same formula to calculate the accrued interest. We will use formula as above to calculate with the exception of number of days, which is here 109. We will get exact match as 2.42%. So what can we interpret from the calculation from both the method? It's that manual calculation of accrued interest is lengthy and time consuming process and with the help of formula, we can do this calculation within fraction of seconds. So that's it in our today's video on accrued interest. If you find this session interesting and knowledgeable, then like this video, subscribe to our channel and if you have any query, then write the same in comment section below. Thanks for watching.